my name is Dr. Andrew Michaels. And I'm here to help you. That's right. I've heard through a little bird that you're having some trouble falling asleep. Is that true? It's no big deal. We all have trouble sleeping once in a while. And I'm very concerned. And I hope, I really hope, that I can help you. You need to sleep. You really do. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to work on some hand movements. Very simple little hand movements. And very simple little binaural ear movements. Right. the left. And of course, that's the right. I was moving a little too slow there. But I think it's fun. Do you like it? Okay. If you do, then I'll proceed and be gentle. And slow and deliberate and move my hand slowly across your face, hoping that you'll fall asleep because that's what you need. I wanted to wear headphones today. I want to make sure I monitor your heartbeat. I want to hear every single breath, every single So that I know you're slipping into a deep, deep sleep, a slumber for the ages. Now, for this to work properly, we must concentrate on something. We must. And in this case, I'd like you to concentrate on my eyes, white or the other, please keep your eyes focused on one of mine. Look deeply into it. I'll zoom in a little bit here and there so that you can decide which one you want to pick. Isn't that cool? You deserve it because you're special. Yes, you are. Now, I'm going to tell you a secret. I love telling secrets. Secrets, they're meant to be told. Do you know why I talk sometimes about politics and religion to all of you real quick? They're scared. They're frightened. And they come to me and they want me to help them. That's right. So I touch base on it as much.
much as I can to make each person feel special and welcome and happy and less afraid. That's right. I try to use reason, not force, not facts. I don't try to scare you into my viewpoint. But one of the things people write to me the most about is sleep. right. And I want to make sure that you get the rest that you need. Just you. Just you. Yeah. So, today, one of the most requested things
that's the case, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You may also be one of those people that says, Oh, I wish you would grab some gum right now and chew it. But unfortunately, I'm not going to do that. Because that's not the video we're doing. In this video, your job, your job, was to look at one of my eyes. Concentrate on it. Pick one. Doesn't matter. Focus on that eye. That's right. <laughs> Focus. I'll try to keep them open for you. While yours slowly, slowly close. As you're drifting off to sleep. Isn't that cool? I think so. And... Steady, slow hand movements. Very ginger. Very slow. Hoping, hoping that you like it. And if you do, you need to comment below. Tell me, I liked it a lot. Or, I hated it. Oh, you suck so bad. And I think that's funny too. You can't please everyone with scared. And what they need right now is compassion, understanding, and love, and kindness. There's enough hatred. There's enough drums beating to the sounds of war. <laughs> I forgot my tie. Son of a gun. Well, we'll go commando today, won't we? Just for you. Just for you. <laughs> you always get in there, don't you? Sometimes, somehow. Somewhere. <laughs> you always get in there, don't you? You're never very far away. And I don't want to let you down. Your old friend, Dr. Andrew Michaels, on his night off when he's tired and his cavaliers are getting their asses kicked in the finals, he still got cleaned up, put on his sexy white shirt, forgot the tie, so he's not as smart looking as he usually is, and he experimented, he tried something new. others. You do care. I can tell. Many of you come back and tell me over and over again, this worked, this didn't work. And I appreciate each and every one of you and all you do for me. Your kindness goes miles, miles and miles in my life. And I feel so blessed to know each and every one of you. It is a very It's nice. It is. I mean it. You're awesome. I didn't bring it down to my studio. To my studio. But I got another letter. From Tony Pamponi. Tony Pamponi is the only artist I 
send money to as a patron because I want to see Tony Bamboni succeed. I think that young man has a lot of courage and a lot of guts. Instead of vilifying him, I showed him a tiny bit of compassion. And I did it because I respect him. It takes guts. <laughs> God damn, it takes guts to come out on YouTube and be Lobster Boy, Big Baby, some of the other goofy characters, Marvin, that I play. But Tony has courage because he doesn't have the years the calluses that I have. He's a young man. And for him to do some of the things that he does, he's very, very courageous and brave. It's very hard to be courageous and brave. It's easy to be stupid. It's easy to be dumb. But it's very hard to be courageous. And I admire him. I do. I admire how hard he works at his costuming and his attempts to do different characters, different setups. He does, he works very hard. And he should be very proud of himself. Courage. Courage will sustain you through the hard times. Courage will sustain a broken body. It will carry you through the pain, through the anguish of life frustrations of loss, courage will maintain your strength, give you vitality, help you fight on for another day. You can. You can fight on for another day. Now, I want to ask you something. you have you shown someone how courageous you are today have you have you stuck up for someone else but more so have you stuck up and defended yourself now you know who I'm talking about out there Many of you write to me, and you ask the doctor to help you, because you're afraid you're going to harm yourself. You're going you're gonna to do some self-harm on different levels, and I always write to you that I don't want to lose you in any way, shape, or form. I want you to write to me, because I am listening. I'm not afraid to listen. And I tell you that I will answer as much as I can. And I will make a place for you at the table. We have a covenant. If we call ourselves anything with our fellow man to show them compassion and grace. And the only way to do that is to make room at the table for everyone. For everyone. Not the easy ones in our life. Everyone. The infirmed. The intellectually challenged. The stubborn. Yeah. Those that would destroy us. We must try ever, ever so much to make them our friends. And don't say it can't be done. Don't say it can't be done. I've lived my life where the world could change in the blink of an eye. Where enemies could become trading partners, friends, allies. Don't tell me it can't be done. Don't turn on your friends out of jealousy and pride. Welcome them. Welcome them to the table. You can do it. You can show courage. And the one you must 
show courage to the most sometimes is yourself. You must have courage. And self-harm is not good. And I'll always be here to listen. And I'll always be here to lend an ear. And if you need me to help you stop, I'll reach out. If you call my name, and I'll help you. Because you're not alone. You're not. If you were alone, you wouldn't be asking for help in the first place. If you were alone, you wouldn't be listening now. You wouldn't be hoping that I write you back. So don't be afraid, because you're not alone. We, you and I, none of us, are alone. And your witness, when you survive, will be a witness to others to go on to fight be courageous and you want to leave that legacy don't you wouldn't you he, every day heroes are born and every day a new hero puts down that weapon that tool of destruction and makes a friend starting with himself or herself starting right here and then once you've made peace with you you're able to help others. And isn't that a life worth living? You don't have to have a microphone and a microphone and a camera and an audio recorder and lights and backgrounds. And you could just reach out and talk to somebody that you know is in trouble. You can help one person, one soul, one, one being, and let them know they're not alone either. All those starfish in the sea, you've heard that, where the guy throws those starfish back in the ocean and the guy says, you can't save them all. Sooner or later they're going to come up on the shore and they're going to they're gonna die. Those starfish, you, you can't save them all. The tides are going to wash some of them ashore and they're going to die. It's inevitable. He says, yes, but not this one. Not today. Not this one right here. Not today. I used to think that was kind of a contrite story, but it's not. That story has so much weight to it. We might lose a hundred battles, but this one right here, this one, this one, I won today. I won this one today. And the battle starts right here. Right here. In your own heart. That's the first battle. That you must win. And then it goes from here. Out. Out. Into the world. And the choice is yours. Or you take it from You don't have to be a victim. You do not need to be a victim. Reach out for help. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm asking you. I'm asking for your help. This isn't a religious, social issue. This is a human issue. I'm coming to you as a human being, not as anything else. Don't put labels on me. Don't take a knife and carve R or D or L or R. What else is there? A C. Don't let them carve labels into you. Be a human being first. Be a human being first. Make peace with yourself first. And then you can tell me about all the other things that you can do. And all the other things that you've done. And then I can show you. I can
can show you so many wonderful things that you would miss not being here because we would miss you someone out there knows you and will miss you um, I think sometimes people think from society, from life itself. These are things that you have a, you have the choice. Yes, you do. It's your choice. And sometimes I think people think that nobody will miss them. Nobody will care. That the world will be better off without them. I don't know how they get to that point. When people are begging them to stay. But the pain is too much. I understand pain. I understand fear fear and pain and hopelessness I understand these things I lived through many of these things I, I saw it destroy so many and recently uh, it's been a hard few months someone we knew went away I'm not talking about my friend last year Biggie I'm talking there's no end to it there's no end to sorrow there's no end to loss. It's always going to happen. It's always going to be there. It never gets any easier. It doesn't. But recently, well, it's been, it, well, the reason I say recently is um, we had a um, picnic party the other day and uh, we had a tribute party. And then it was a way of saying goodbye. And uh, their favorite song was 99 Siegloof Balloons. And that sounds funny. Somebody so young would like that old ladies song. And it was a wonderful song. And we played the German version because that was the favorite version. And uh, I'm, not, I'm trying not to give away identity. But I want you to know that that I know for a fact that people gave everything they could, tried everything they could. And the authorities themselves got involved and tried to stop this, this event from happening, but some things are meant to be. Sometimes there's no hope. People can't see hope. And uh, it takes courage to sit here and tell you that you need to know that no matter how bad you think things are and how hopeless things are you're going to leave a lot of people behind they're going to tip their glasses they're going to let out the balloons they're going to sign the book they're going to hug your mom and dad well your mom at least in this case and they're going to tell everybody how much they miss you and love you and they do care. And they miss you. They'll miss you. I'll miss you. I miss them. And it never gets easier. And it never goes away. You need to know, you need to hear that. You need to know that people out there love you and care. If nothing else, then to know that you're not alone. That's bullshit. I don't know if it's a demon. I don't know if it's a broken connection between two cells in your brain. I don't know if it's a, it could be some kind of mental disease. It could be some kind of 
infection you got when you were a kid, nobody noticed. It affected your reasoning, affected your thinking. Who knows what causes these things, these little tiny breaks in the synapses. But it's got to stop. You've got to reach out for help. You're here right now. And you're listening right now. And you brought yourself here. Do you think you did? I didn't do anything. I'm just some guy named Dr. Andrew Michaels talking into a microphone. But you, you are an angel. You're an eternal soul. You are a gift from some creator that we can't even dream about. We can't even dream of his face. Her face, its face, whatever its face is. But you're a product of something beautiful. Creation. Don't ruin that one thing in this whole of creation. That is you. Okay? Keep giving you another chance. Because you deserve it. I want to give you another chance. And I think you can think about it and realize, yeah, maybe that's not so bad. Giving that you, that unique creature, just one more chance. Yeah. And then another. footsteps turn into miles and miles away from that day and you can do it and I read your comments I read all of them but some very interesting ones lately and I did listen and I want you to know I heard you and this is the best I can do I stopped what I was doing and this is what I can do and one more thing. If somebody's causing this to you through abuse, bullying, cyberbullying, just tormenting the shit out of you, making you feel worthless, telling you you're nobody, telling you you're nothing, there's two things you can do. One is you can tell them to F right off. F you CK, you tell them to go F themselves. And no matter how you do it, I don't care how you do it, you take these right here. You get away from them. The feet will get you away. But if you can't get away, you take these right here. And you give them everything you've got. You give them all of that that they put inside you. All that hate, all that anger, all that despair. You give them back some of that. And I promise you, one thing I know about bullies, oh, I know them very well. And my experience is, they will probably give you the pasting of a lifetime for even daring to raise your hands against them. But they'll move on eventually a lot quicker than if you do nothing and when they move on they'll move on because they like greener pastures they like sheep that don't fight back they don't like sheep that put on wolves clothes you're a sheep you're supposed to take it from them so sometimes this right here is enough And I'm saying this because, and I'm going to message the person. They asked me to do a video about cyberbullying and bullying in general. I think I'm dealing with a very small part of it, where people get pushed too far. And they think they can't go on. But right now I'm dealing with the real world part of it. You tell them, today ain't going to happen. Today ain't going to happen. Today somebody's going to go to the hospital with me.
And there's going to be people out there that say, how do you even talk about this in an ASMR video? Well, how do you not talk about this to the very people that come to you for aid? A lot of people like to do a lot of talking, but when it comes right down to it, were they willing to take that hit for you? Are they willing to take that abuse for you? They gonna lay down for you? Let you take it? For them? There's only one person that can stop you from self-harm, and that's you. And there's only one person that can stop you from getting bullied, and that's you. If it's cyberbullying, there's a very specific thing you do. You close your account, you shut that goddamn computer off, go do something else, go read a book. Spend a couple days away. Sure shit, that'll break a bully. They'll move on to somebody else. You're no fun anymore. Don't associate with them. Don't talk to them. They're dead to you. Block them. Shut the computer off. Get up and walk away. Block them out of your life. It works. Can't touch you. Move on. But when it comes to real world bullies, <laughs> ask them to stop. I'm asking you to stop nicely because tomorrow's going to be a bad day for everyone. Don't bring a gun and a knife. Don't try to kill the person. Just a couple hits to the face, a couple hits to the belly, a couple punches in the arm. Maybe even just swinging a few times. Don't get tired of it. You're no fun anymore. You don't have to hurt them. You just have to get their attention. Get those hands up. Protect your face. Protect your body. Practice, you know. Tell them ain't going to go down the way it's been going down. I'm fighting back. You better stop. Because I've had enough. I've had enough of you. And today it stops. And I'm telling you, son and daughter, they will quit. And the worst thing is, <laughs> they don't want people seeing you do that. Oh boy, this is going to ruin my fun because now I can't move on to the next one. He knows how to get rid of me too. You ruin their whole day. And that's the kind of stuff we should be talking about. That's the kind of thing we should be doing. And we should be standing up for each other every chance we get because there's so many of us that are so unique. They'll never come again. Never come again. There's enough violence out there for a lot of us. So let's not add to it. Let's try and add some hope to the world, okay? Now, I think you've drifted off to sleep, so I'm going to let you go. Oh, look at you. Your eyes are closed. You're sleeping. Oh, that's so adorable. You're entering REM sleep. friend, Dr. Andrew Michael cares about you and I love you. I love all of you with my heart. And I wish you the best. I do. I really do. And until I see you again, and I am going to see you again, aren't I? I'm going to see you again. And you know who I'm talking to. And when I see and until I see you again, please, please, have a most blessed day.